Hello everybody. <laughs> Check out this Ford Excursion. This is the type of car that's when I say car, I mean SUV slash truck. Wow, you just don't see. <laughs> Even in the world of ginormous trucks that kind of surround us. But still, holy moly, this is like the king of the hill right here. You know, got a little wear. As you can see, it's been it's been through a lot. It's also been through a lot of modifications according to what I see here. But man, this thing does not disappoint. From 2004, you got tons of character here. And probably tons of life left despite, you know, a little cosmetic thing here and there. Look at these tires. Wow. Holy moly. Obviously, there's a lot of modification, stuff like that. So free. So I guess it's maybe a single lock. I don't know. Not oh this is probably the the the, the diff lock I'm sorry I uh, I wasn't sure what I was doing here <laughs> wow so this is 2004 excursion which looks like this dealership which is Dundee Ford where I filmed that Crown Victoria police interceptor looks like they got it from yeah from Mannheim auction all right yep got it all right there looks like what 201,000 mile on this thing got some interesting brackets i don't know for more lights or something else yeah i got you know cosmetic wise it, it does look like you know it's it's been through a little bit and it's in its 16 year you know or 17 year life but look regardless still got that pad but it looks a lot better on a dark green truck with black than versus you know like on a silver town car or something oh look at this i didn't even realize it did that Look at that, it's a flag. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Got a lot of equipment there on top, a lot of lights, a lot of... So again, lots of character. I love this stuff. And it's an 80 Bauer too, so it's a luxurious one. We'll go inside, it is unlocked. And it's got one of these dual swing things, but before we do this, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. All right, so the glass lifts. Oh, it's got one of those WeatherTech stuff. Got the bench, which I think might be unfolded, but maybe it's a, like a bed conversion. Not sure yet. Oh, and then you've got this dual swing style barn door. Nice, there you go. Oh, wow. Full size spare, love that. So, check this out. Very white too, like surprisingly white. Like this is heavy, the top piece. There you go. All right, got a little nicks here and there. Keep in mind, you know, this this particular one, that's a that's a bonus shoot. I'm not trying to, uh, you know, to like push a sale of this or anything. I just I just noticed it. <laughs> so I don't know all the details. I don't think they have it listed yet. I don't have a key for this one, uh, but it is unlocked. So check this out. So this being an Eddie Bauer, you got the wood paneling, nice. Got the, the dual color seats, even better. Little rips here and there, but not too bad. Yeah, it works. Got the power. For some reason, they didn't want to put the power stuff here like they do on some other things. All right, let's see here. Oh, God, that's a no running boards, by the way. So this is a true kind of like an off-roader, an off-roader. Yeah, 200,000 600 miles so yeah so 201 whatever it said there it's a one of those electronic ones so i cannot see it without a key so i uh, gotta prop gotta probably put the mask on here fuse panel okay got the standard lights got the fog lights nice steering wheel is nice and worn uh oh okay it just locked so yep old school things although didn't really change too much from uh, you know, from what is it, uh, uh, an 04 to an 06, uh, same same type of deal. All right, so this is where we get into the interesting situation: how they have four-wheel drive control, defrost, and parking assist all in the same panel. How do these things go together? I don't know. Adjustable pedal just stuck here for no apparent reason, but it does work. 
nice got a lot of different wiring and equipment which the previous owner must have removed cup holders got a little powerpoint excursion badge and yeah got the bag hook and once again a lot of different switches and stuff which the previous owner obviously modified this thing i love this clip how do you open this oh there you go ginormous freaking ginormous and look at this excursion club i didn't uh, i didn't even know that such club existed but keep in mind i'm not a member of it so that's probably why i don't know about it so here you go very nice very nice indeed in the back of this thing all right surprisingly let's see what is this is this a screen yes the world's tiniest screen look at this <laughs> this is the 04 technology the little player down there up there all right no cup holders here but cup holders there and some controls there all right and then the back seat okay the back seat is unfolded i wasn't sure if it's like uh no so that's a standard seat oh man how much room is back here holy crap holy crap and then this probably does what fold oh okay so it's one of these older style where you have to lift this look at this so you take the headrest out of here and you stick them in here so you don't have to like you know throw them in the trunk or something all right i can dig this seat belt and you know there's just something about visiting and kind of being near these older cars that much nicer than anything anything newer i don't know maybe there's something wrong with me but yeah like even this thing look at this thing is ginormous you know the mpg lol that makes sense but look even for such a giant suv the the ford badge is normal size and you know i just realized something we might as well check under the hood you know why not not sure if it's doesn't say anywhere that it's diesel so i'm only assuming that it's a uh, gasoline let's see where does this thing go all right yeah the the hood is not being held up by those by those struts so <laughs> so i need to i need to do one of these i don't have anything to prop it up with but anyway so it's a triton v10 i got some information here about the exhaust all right i'll have to find what kind of uh, engine i mean i know these things had a v10 i know they had diesel so i will be displaying all that but yeah i mean look underneath here it does look like all right i don't want to crush my my head or my fingers um you know obviously these things were not made for you know speedy getaways and this does look like you know this thing was actually used as originally intended as kind of like a little off-roader well when i say little i use that term mostly obviously so all right all right i'm gonna let this drop there we go okay everybody so once again I am giving a big thanks and shout out to Dundee Ford of Dundee, Illinois. It's the place right there. I am starting to get to know them. Not just the mechanic over there, who we do videos together every once in a while, but a lot of other cool folks. So come on down, good people. They don't chew you away. And we'll see you next time.